everyone, welcome back to another special holiday episode on the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday season. Today, if you read the title, you already know, we're doing a decorating challenge at The Sims 4 where every room is a different holiday film. I am probably limited in terms of what holiday movies I know. Your holiday films might not look the same as mine, but I have compiled a list of 14 holiday films that I know and love that I think I can call confidently probably decorate a uh, room. Some of them are like arguably holiday films, which I would love to hear pros and cons in the comments below. So it's going to be like a house in the Sims that looks like the holidays exploded on it. I'm also going to include the exterior of the house as a room. So that way we could kind of like decorate the outside of the house. With that being said, let me tell you guys which holiday movies are on our wheel of options. So our Options are Home Alone, Elf, A Christmas Story, The Holiday, The Santa Claus, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, The Grinch, It's a Wonderful Life, Muppet Christmas Carol, A Nightmare Before Christmas, Die Hard. Now for me, Die Hard is unequivocally a Christmas movie. I would love to hear your agreement and or disagreement in the comments. The Polar Express, Harry Potter, similar to Die Hard. I think Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is unequivocally a Christmas movie in my eyes, mostly because I want a reason to watch it every year. And of course, White Christmas, which is my family's favorite uh, classic Christmas film. We watch it every year. I like that we have a bit of a range. We have some like popular ones and not as popular ones. Shout out your favorites in the comments. So I'm going to hop into The Sims 4. I'm going to build in Mount Komorebi only because I know without a doubt it will be snowing in certain parts of that world. And I want this build to be on a snowy lot. So I'm actually going to bulldoze this lot and put down a house. I just want it to make sure that it's in the snow. Let's place down a little house. All right, so I'm gonna be using from Lil Simsy just because it, it looks like super classic and I feel like it doesn't have so many rooms that it will take me forever to decorate. Our first room I think will be like the living room. This is the room you walk into. It's the first room of the house. So what are we gonna do for the living room? Let's spin and find out. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh no, oh no, it's not gonna be Muppet Christmas Carol. Please don't be mom because it's nightmare before oh good it's probably worse it's worse it's nightmare before christmas <sighs> I don't know what to do with that. Oh no. Nightmare Before Christmas, eh? This is awesome. This is so cool. Um, I think I'm gonna do it as if it is Christmas, but in Jack's world. So it's like gonna be like a dark gothic Christmas. I kind of still like what is going on here, but I'm gonna do like a black tile, I think. Oh, is there a black or like a red tile maybe that I won't hate? Okay, I don't hate that, so sure. I don't know what to do with this. I feel like we need this on one wall. Maybe this wall? Oh God, this is gonna be so wild. Okay, maybe we just do this. I think this looks good. Oh no, oh no. This staircase I like but part of me thinks we should do something to make it match better all right so it's black I guess now the flooring I think I might keep as is because I think it looks okay I mean nightmare I feel like it would give me this kind of vibes Maybe like that. Oh yeah, that's the stuff here. And we'll do like a fridge here. Thanks, I hate it. I think this movie has like a lot of tattered stuff. We'll do like torn up black window coverings here. Cool, awesome. Everything's like a little decrepit. I'm going to try to do stuff that look like it's Christmas, but dead Christmas. I have no idea what to do here. This is awkward. Oh my gosh, okay, all right, all right. So we did part of the kitchen. We didn't do all of the kitchen. How did she set this up? All right, so this is dining, this is living room. So this is where this will go here. Yeah, that opens it up so much more. Okay, and then dining will be kind of like right when you walk in the door. Let's go into the dining room. I feel like I could do like a Christmassy Halloween dining room. I think we'll do this one, this Salvadorian table. We'll do that and then we're gonna do chairs what kind of chairs they're just sitting in benches in the movie i could do like benches maybe this i think it is weird but i think it's a good kind of weird okay there's not really dining benches so i might have to go in a different direction i think i'm gonna go with my gut here i'm gonna go with these like kind of 
goofy looking chairs. So there we go. And then we'll put a rug underneath. I don't think Jack Skellington would be very proud of me. This is like Christmassy. We'll do maybe a proper Christmas thing. How about that? That would be kind of an interesting choice. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the skull rug. I think that they would like that. And I'm gonna just put the random holiday stuff on top of the table. There it is. There's the holiday. You gotta put these in to welcome us into the room. I love the red in the bottom. There's this too. Oh, we're nailing it now. I'm fi I finally have like a vision and the vision is a cacophony of just weird Christmas mixed with Halloween things. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting there, buddies. I think what I needed to do was embrace the mess. All right, let's see if there's like a weird, yes. Oh, there's a weird Christmas tree here. We could put the Christmas tree over here by the stairs. Ah, I think that fits in really nice actually right here. The gravestones, where should I put the gravestones? You can't just not include them. Right, we'll put them in the corner here. And then over here is where we're gonna do the living room. They, they face the wall. Also, they had a smaller table, I'm realizing. So maybe we'll take off just the chairs here. There's also presents, of course. We couldn't do it without presents. All right, maybe we'll put the presents here. That looks great. This like weird purple and green is excellent. We're getting there. We're slowly but surely understanding the assignment. It just took me a minute, you know? Ooh, this is like a really random fall wreath. I don't think that's what we need, but oh, it comes in like a black and purple. I don't know where I could, oh, let's put it on the back door. Excellent, perfect. Could do like a Christmas fireplace here. That's just disgusting, I love it. Couch, what would be our couch for this lovely? Ooh, okay, that works, this works. We could do it in a fun color. Yeah, Um. do I need to move this over? I wanted it to be centered when you come in the door, but I just feel like we need a little more space in between the living room and the dining room. Should I do it in another? Oh, I like it without the little face. That actually makes me happy. Let's do it like that. And then we'll do a big rug. <gasps> There's a pumpkin one. Oh my gosh. Well, we should do Jack the Pumpkin King. If we make it really small, it could be like under the sink kind of thing. Isn't that kind of cute? Is that weird? It might be weird, but I kind of don't care. If it... Oh, you know what? We'll put it back here. It'll be before you go outside, you can step on this little rug. Back to the task at hand. Oh yeah. You know what? That's fine. I don't need it to be fancy or anything. And then we'll put like these random lights in the corners here. Oh, and this comes in other colors. I didn't realize it came in this like creepy red one. I should totally make it that. And then above the mantelpiece, I feel like there should be these. This is so weird. The colors are just honestly all over the place. I just want it to be feeling like the movie and I don't really know if it does. Maybe if we do have like potions, you know, or remind us of Sally. These remind me of Sally. So maybe we'll put some of these kind of things up. Oh yeah, with the frog. Oh, definitely with the frog. Frog. Yeah, this is like where Sally's gonna do her like mixing things. This looks good. This could be good. I realize now that I didn't put a stove in, so maybe I'll need to do that. Good job, Kelsey. Good work. Good work. Yeah, these look awkward, but they also look awkward without. So maybe this one. Sure. This is a hodgepodge. And then Zero, of course, needs a dog bowl. And I think that's gonna be it for the downstairs. I think it represents the movie. I think if someone were to walk in and look at this, they would go, ah, Nightmare Before Christmas. And you'd say, yes, yes it is. We're gonna move upstairs. Excellent, excellent. All right, so the theme of the children's room is a Christmas story. So this is set in Christmas in the 1940s. It's about a boy and his adventures, you know, around Christmas time with his family. I think that's gonna be perfect. So I'm looking at the film right now and the house is like this beigey orange color, which I find just wholly entertaining. So I think I'm gonna try to like make the room kind of in the similar tone. They do have like kind of a tacky, like a red rug underneath. Yeah, like that. Great. Okay, sure. Also, of course, in this film is the iconic leg lamp. So I'm gonna put a lamp in the window to represent the leg lamp. However, unfortunately, I don't think that The Sims has a leg lamp. 
I feel like this lamp gives me the most leg lamp energy. What do you guys think? It's got like a fringe on it in the movie. Yeah, I think this is gonna be as close as we're gonna get with our leg lamp. So there's our leg lamp. All right, so let's go into a kid's room. We're gonna give him a bed. He like is forced into this bunny outfit. So I think it'd be really funny if I give him like this kind of bed. It reminds me the most of like that little onesie that he's kind of forced to wear. There's a lot of scenes of him going to school. Maybe we'll do give him a little backpack. These might be cool to have like play and trains and automobiles. You know, I feel like this feels right to put in his room. I want like a little dresser for him. We'll do maybe like one of these. And then we'll put like these kind of things on it. Hopefully this will remind you the most of like the toys that he asked for for Christmas. And then over here we'll do a desk. He does like have to sit at his desk quite a bit. We're gonna give him a desk for writing his beautiful essays. Actually, this is a little cartoony. I'm gonna not do this one. Delete, there you go. I feel like he would have a little journal in which he would decode the messages because he has like a radio. I remember a lot apparently from this movie and I remembered significantly less for the movie downstairs. Maybe this little radio. We'll pretend that's like a more vintage looking radio. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just agree. Oh, they also had like those draperies. The draperies had like those classic kind of like patterns. Maybe that or this one. That one kind of looks good. Maybe that. All right, now to some Christmas like holiday decor. He does kind of go outside in the snow. We could put like a little snowman. This kind of reminds me of his little brother that like gets the scarf on and he is like upset about it because he's kind of stuck. Maybe we'll put like, I don't know, a little holiday thing like here. And I think this is it. It's kind of a boring room, but honestly, I think it represents the story as well as I can do it. So that is the kid's room. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna do the bathroom next. I think that'll be good. White Christmas. Okay, okay, a white Christmas bathroom. So with White Christmas, the film, it takes place kind of like at a lodge where they end up putting together a dynamite act to save the lodge or whatever. And it's all Christmas themed. White Christmas has a lot of like blues and reds and greens. So we're gonna go hard into the holiday stuff here. So maybe I'll go blue for like the White Christmas. We'll do the wallpaper. I think we'll do still tile cause we are in, you know, a bathroom. Maybe a blue tile. Cause like there's just so much blue in this movie. And then we'll do the the flooring. We'll kind of have a matching blue tile. Excellent. Just like Bing Crosby's eyeballs. Nice and blue. I guess we'll have to put in a shower. I don't know if there's room for a bathtub necessarily. So I guess there could be. And there's kids in the house. So maybe we should do like a bathtub. We'll do like this. And then we'll do the toilet. Can we do that? Can we do toilet here and sink? I guess this will be pretty simple. Ooh, yes. I like the little blue snowflakes. Perfect. All right, we'll put a nice little holiday there and then we'll put a nice mirror. But since it's like Hollywood, can we do the star? Yes, because they put off a dynamite act. I'm gonna do a star mirror. And then we'll put maybe just like a white towel over here. Just the normal things that you put in a bathroom. It's giving me white Christmas vibes. It looks kind of like the poster. I wish there was maybe a pop of red. You know, maybe we'll put that in red since everything else is blue. And I'm going to put music in this room as well, just because it's a musical. They sing a lot and they have their nice little time. So I'm going to put like this little holiday speaker in there. Maybe I'll put it over here above the toilet. Love it. And so this is my holiday white Christmas bathroom. All right, next up is the master bedroom. What is the master bedroom's theme? It is, oh, is it the Santa Claus? I love this movie. It's about a man that accidentally ends up becoming Santa Claus. So the film takes place kind of, I think in the 90s, but instead of making like a 90s room, I think I'm gonna decorate the bedroom similarly to the North Pole. So they go to this like fantasy realm where Santa's workshop is in the North Pole. And it's absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Like as a kid, I think that's exactly how I pictured the North Pole. Also, I might change up like these back windows just because as cute as I'm sure it looks in the house, the windows in this are so cute. So maybe we should have something like this. 
And then they have a lot of these like arched or circular kind of windows, almost like this. Oh yeah, this is so cute. That, oh, that looks a lot like it to me. Okay, and we'll put this maybe up here. I don't know if I'll keep that. I might change this window to something more like, ooh, more like this. Okay, we could do something like this. Yes. Wow, Realm of Magic is coming through in terms of what this room is gonna look like. Yeah, it's just like a lot of gold accents. So I'm gonna do a lot of gold accents with red. <gasps> like this, like poles. Oh my gosh. North poles. Hey, hey, what up? I just wish I could move it wherever I wanted to instead of having to do this. I feel like that's kind of cool. We're gonna keep that there. Okay, all right, all right, let's get to the bed. I think I might go something like this maybe. Okay, that could give me Christmas energy. Actually, you know what? This is even more Santa-y. What if we use tapestries? You know, like what if we have kind of a grand tapestry looking thing behind behind the bed and that's how we make it look like Santa is here, you know? Be like that? Okay, this looks good. Oh, I, I never did the wallpaper too. I don't think I'm gonna keep like whatever's going on here. In all of this, it's like kind of a neutral color. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's that's nice. I wish I could have cutie canes. Okay, but let's look up holiday stuff. I just wish that I could put just like random swags places. You know, oh, I can. I can kind of put this up. All right, sure, we'll do that. Now it's a little more holiday festive. Steve. I remember in the movie, he kind of mentions like other holidays, like other ways of saying Santa and other language almost. So I think that it'd be cute for him to have like this picture here. It might not be necessarily Christmas. So I thought that that might be nice. Okay, here's a Christmas tree. Scott Calvin's got to have a Christmas tree in his room. Okay, yes, yeah, so we got to do a wreath on there. Maybe I need to put more bedroom items in this room. I think that we probably should. This one could be good. I, I want to put like hot cocoa because I remember he had like a cup of hot cocoa that she brought him and it was like her recipe. Oh, this is cool. This is not at all what I had in mind. Yeah, maybe that would look better. Can we get some like shoes? I feel like he would have some shoes on the floor, some just like Santa boots. We can put some boots down or something where he can keep his shoes. I feel like we need more like kid decor, if that makes sense. Like more things like this, yeah. How funny are these gnomes? The gnomes do remind me of like the elves in the movie. So I'm gonna put those down as if they are the elves. Okay, now we need wall decorations. That is my goal is what I'm looking for. <gasps> Look at these little trees. I'm gonna put them over here. How cute is that? These kind of things remind me more of like what I remember from the movie. So maybe I'll get more of that kind of stuff. Maybe we should do a rug and then call it a day. Yeah, like this kind of thing. So this is Scott Calvin's bedroom. It is all over the place, just like that movie. So I love it. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do the exterior. Okay, so what is going to be the exterior of the house to finish off this beautiful holiday home? If it's Muppet Christmas Carol, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> no. Okay, Muppet Christmas Carol is the theme of the exterior of the house. I guess what I'm gonna do is like a classic Dickens decor mixed with a lot of frivolity, AKA Muppets. And if I can find a pig, I will put a pig outside because Miss Piggy is my icon. She is my everything. I now got the song in my head. There was just one sleep till Christmas. What is the most Dickens looking holiday decor I could think of? Mm, I think that would be like these garlands, but I wanna do like kind of the most muted version of the garlands or like maybe even not garlands, maybe just like wreaths. We'll just put like wreaths on all the windows and doors. I think what would be really funny is if we put no Christmas decor up at all and then it would be like Scrooge. Kidding. There should be like Christmas trees, but that aren't Christmas trees. You know what I mean? Like just, there should be pine trees. There you go. That's kind of decor. All right, let's do like little lamp posts, I guess. I guess this one. We'll do like a, li a little lamp post. And then I'm gonna look up a pig. Ooh, and maybe frogs too. Heck yes. Okay, it's a year of the pig statue, but I think it counts. So we're gonna put a pig here and then we're gonna put a frog. And these are for my Muppets. Oh, 
look, the pig and the frog could be next to each other. There's Miss Piggy and Kermie. There's the lamppost that they sing all of their songs by. Oh, you know what? We should do a grave. All right, so we're gonna put these gravestones over here because that's where they go visit with the ghost of Christmas yet to be. And then maybe I'll put some presents on here for the ghost of Christmas presents. There's this guy. We'll put him over here. He's the ghost of Christmas past. This is like the happy ghost. Okay, and then there is a bunch of presents. Cute! Okay, it's more, you know, up to your own interpretation. This is an advanced piece of art in terms of how it's representational of the film. I think we nailed this home. Here's the downstairs. It's Nightmare Before Christmas. And then you go upstairs to White Christmas, A Christmas Story, The Santa Claus. And then if you go outside out here, you see Muppet Christmas Carol. Honestly, if you watched all of these movies this holiday season, I think you wouldn't be disappointed. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday season and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.